In this video, we will show a new universal texture synthesis technique called transversal. This technique can take a small texture image as input and generate multiple times larger texture outputs in only tens or hundreds of milliseconds. It can handle different varieties of input texture images. It's also possible to take a small texture as input and directly generate 1K by 1K and 2K by 2K texture images. Traditional non-learning methods for texture synthesis are too slow due to time-consuming pre-processing or iterative optimization. On the other hand, most of existing deep learning methods for texture synthesis are not generalizable. That means they usually need to trim its deep learning model again for every new texture. The main reason is that these existing deep learning models usually fully rely on local convolution and deconvolution layers to do synthesis. These local operations cannot capture the long-range structural dependence information that is required by texture synthesis. As a result, they may simply enlarge the input rather than perform reasonable synthesis, even though it has been trained based on ground truth texture pairs of both input and output. As the bricks do, our technique called transfer is generalizable to new input texture images, and we can also do texture synthesis in nearly real time, taking only tens or hundreds of milliseconds. Our technique is inspired by discovering that the behavior of traditional assembling-based texture synthesis is analogous to the behavior of the transpersed convolution operation in deep learning. The way the traditional assembling-based method works is to find some plot positions to displace the input patch to the output grid. The displaced copies are then assembled to glue the output image. This process is repeated until the output reaches the target size. On the other hand, we find that the transpose conversion operation can also perform such displacement and assembling behaviors. However, unlike the traditional assembling based method, the transpose conversion operation can reach such a goal using a single network fold path in a real time manner. In general, the transpose convolution operation will clone a copy of the filter and reweight this copy with the points value in the input. The reweighted copy will be pasted into the output grid. We repeat the process for every point in the transpose convolution input. These reweighted copies are assembled to get the final texture synthesis output. The output can be regarded as the assembling of the transpose convolution filters guided by the input. The key and novelty of method is to directly use the input texture's feature map as the transpose convolution filter. In this way, the transpose convolution output would be the assembling of the input textures. This is different from the traditional way how transpose convolution is used. That is to say, the traditional filters are learnable parameters with small size like 3 by 3 or 4 by 4, and the filters are shared across all the input textures. However, in our case, the transpose convolution filters are not learnable parameters, but dynamically determined by each input texture. The last question is, how we decide the transpose convolution input to get the assembling. In our method, we use the input texture self-similarity map as the transpose convolution input to get the assembling. The self-similarity map is computed by shifting the encoded feature into different locations. Given an encoded feature map, we will shift it to different locations. The shifted copy and the original copy will have an overlapping region, and the overlapping region will be used to compute the similarity score. We repeat this process for different shifting locations to generate a similarity map. We found that self similarity maps can capture the structural information of the input texture very well. In general, the way how our transpersal works is, given the input texture, 
Firstly, we encode it into feature space at multiple scales. Once getting to the last three scales, we will then compute their self-simulating maps. The self-simulating map will be used as inputs, and the encoded features will be used as the filters to generate the transpose conversion outputs. Different scales outputs will be aggregated to generate the final result. We compare with state-of-the-art non-learning methods and the latest learning-based methods. When compared with the state-of-art non-learning method, such as self-tuning, our results show that we can better preserve the structures of the input image and also in a much faster way. On the other hand, we found that the conventional learning-based image-to-image -image translation network, such as pix 2 pix 2 hd simply enlarges the input rather than perform reasonable synthesis. This finding confirms our earlier hypothesis. For more applications, we can also replace the self semantic map with a random noise map as the input to generate diverse textual synthesis outputs. By taking different random noise as inputs, we can generate different synthesis results. By sampling a larger noise map, we can also directly generate 1K by 1K output and 2K by 2K output. Thank you.